So, good afternoon. Uh, believe it or not, we are in Kitely up on our platform. And um, I'm going to ask you where you think we are in a moment. But first, just to say, we're going to be looking at the um, vocabulary challenge number 66. It was very funny. Zom nearly... Um, had a fit the other day when she realised there'd been 67 vocabulary challenges now. So she's like, oh my god. <laughs> so I'm hoping you're still enjoying them. Um, thank you for taking part, Shiny and April. It's always good when somebody's taken part and then comes to this session. I think, you know, going from the last couple of sessions, it works better if people kind of know what we're talking about. So, um, as it says on the description here, the, the challenge was about beauty and grooming products. Now, um, did you understand that as a, an overall part of the challenge? Was that clear to you when you, when you saw the picture and you started naming the items in it? Uh, what is grooming, actually? Yeah, grooming. Well, it's one of those words that has different meanings, okay, to groom. It can be very negative. Um, grooming on the internet can be in order to do something illegal. Um, so it can be involved in child abuse or in um, fraud where somebody grooms somebody to make them feel that I know they're in a relationship with them or they have romantically attached and then before you know it they're asking for money that's grooming but in this context <laughs> there's nothing illegal about it men tend not to want to talk about beauty okay <laughs> beauty is considered well i don't know do you agree that beauty is a feminine thing not in this state well, yeah, so, it's, so it's changed. Yeah. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Good point, Shiny. <laughs> what do you think, April? Do you think beauty is a, a feminine thing? Um, actually, I think um, for most women, it is uh, something about something for um yeah for the for the females for the women for the women but nowadays but i we know that in the past also uh uh men also uh did something for their beauty but they don't consider Not, it beauty so what what do we no. tend to call a man who's very i mean you can use the term good looking hey good looking and you can use that for a woman or a man what uh, we say beautiful we tend to say beautiful for a woman yeah uh what do we call a man who's very good looking rather than handsome uh, handsome yeah i i i can't imagine how my husband would react if somebody walked up to him and said oh my god you're so beautiful <laughs> i don't think he'd thank them but if a woman, a beautiful woman, walked up to him and said, hello, handsome, I'm sure he'd like that. <laughs> Before he panicked and ran away. OK, so because of that term beauty being associated with women and female feminine things, then men tend not to want to buy beauty products. So beauty products, and again, tend to be aimed at feminine people okay women and people who feel feminine grooming products tend to be aimed at men okay so when i said beauty and grooming because it contained pictures that can be used by men and women or just by women or just by men or just by feminine people and just by masculine people that covered both beauty and grooming okay but like uh, um 
body milk, for example, is that also a beauty product? Well, Lynn? this is something we can talk about. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it can be used on babies. So, you know, do we want our babies to be beautiful? Well, I suppose we do, but um, we wouldn't really bo be bothered about putting beauty products on them. But we use body lotion, body milk, creams, etc., to keep their skin soft, to keep their skin looking healthy. Um, again, we're not going to go into the does it work or not realm because that would be, I don't know, a whole course, I think. <laughs> we're going to do a very superficial surface look at these things. So if you look at um, grooming in the dictionary, uh, April, could you read out that text? Uh, grooming, grooming refers to the things that people do to keep themselves clean and make their face, hair, and skin look nice. Very good. Well done. Yes. So again, it's, it's not specifically a masculine or feminine thing, but it's aimed at men because of the feminine aspect towards beauty products. Yeah. I mean, honestly, if I say to my husband, uh, are you going to get your hair done? He says, I don't have my hair done. I have it cut. <laughs> And it's just because to have your hair done, you go to, he doesn't go to the hairdressers, he goes to the barbers. <laughs> because hairdressers are traditionally for women, yeah? And barbers are traditionally for men. So women get their hair done. And men get their hair cut. <laughs> Hello, Rima. Nice to see you. Have you got voice, Rima? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> nice to see you. Okay, we're talking about... Um, I'll give you the link to the challenge because I don't think you took part in it, but I know you often read them. So maybe you've read this one. So, Lynn, uh, I can't say, or is it uh, not that uh, use, not uh, that usual to say I went to let my hair cut I went to have, I have I to say, my hair cut to have to, my hair cut to have my, yeah. but I can say that word cut for me oh yes we're not bothered I can have my hair cut or I can have my hair done because we don't always go okay. to the hairdresser to have our hair cut we might go just to have a wash and blow dry because we're going out that night. Uh, okay. That kind of thing. That's having your hair done, which can include cutting. Uh, but if you have your hair cut, yes. I mean, I don't think we're as sensitive about these things as men sometimes are. Uh, we'll have to... Rima, do you have your hair done or do you have it cut? Or do you cut it yourself? Uh, I missed... Uh... What uh, what did you we talk? I let going... my hair to to grow to some ex extent, and after it, I I go to the my hair uh, my barbers. Barbers, barbers. okay. So and... you see, <laughs> you see how careful yeah. Rima was not to say hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I, I noticed in the chat box. <laughs> yeah, men tend uh, to go wrote. to the barbers. With the, uh, traditionally in the UK, a barbers will have a red and white stripy pole outside. A very old. You can still find them in t in cities and towns in the UK, and um, it's because of the blood and bandages. Because barbers used to do surgery. Can you imagine? In the past, there were no people couldn't afford to go to the doctor, so. Things like tooth extraction, sewing up wounds would be done by the barber. That's why it's got such a masculine kind of um, reputation, maybe. <laughs> so, um, any other questions about that part of the text? So there was a mixture of what we call products. Products. Okay, you have different products. Sometimes at the hairdresser, um, they might ask you, would you like some product? 
Any idea what you'd be being offered if somebody said, would you like some product in your hair? Especially you, Rima. Uh, shampoo. Mm, that's not product, no. Product tends to be something that stays in your hair. So if somebody would say, would you like some product on your hair? They'd probably be offering you gel or hair spray. Oh, gel, yeah. Yeah, the stuff that shapes your hair. Um, shampoo. To make it... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, carry on. To make it like... Um fixed one to each other like here yeah, yeah, yeah to, that's it to shape it to form it into i don't know it. spiky or that surfer look everybody likes or likes i don't know if it's still fashionable or not but yes that kind of thing i'm just trying to see if i've got any um shampoo no uh, what about the conditioner lynn yeah, that's, um, well, again, is it a wash-in? We tend to talk about shampoo and conditioner, yeah? As something that you expect at the hairdressers. Sometimes if you go uh, to the hairdressers in the UK, they won't charge you for the shampoo, but they will charge you for the conditioner. Would you like hair treatment would you like some conditioner and that means they'll put another pound or two pounds on your bill by the way warn i warn you now um, find out what's included in the hair do in the hairstyle uh, hair lotion yes that could be a product as well um, hair lotion hair gel yeah so if you're offered product it tends to be above the normal what's expected to be included in the price Basically, if they're offering you some product, find out what it is and find out how much it will cost you. <laughs> is it, does it exist like hair, uh, hair uh, wax? Hair wax, yeah. Yeah, that would be product as well. Now, if you, if you search for hair products, you'll often find hair products for men, hair products for women. And that will include shampoo, conditioner, hairspray etc but at the hairdressers it tends to be if they offer you some product then it tends to be that kind of extra shaping sprayy stuff <laughs> clay i mean they've got some weird names for hair products clay balm um pomade pomade i mean are we in the 15th century or something <laughs> But this is for made for your face. No, this is for hair. This this is the beauty industry for you. Okay. Wax, gel. <laughs> okay. Nowadays, they charge you also sometimes for washing, for yes. water. Yeah. And sometimes nowadays uh, in Germany, and I've not seen it in the UK, but I'm sure it must exist. Uh, you can go in, you get your hair cut, well, you get it washed and they cut it, and then they leave you to dry it. They leave you with the hair. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah otherwise that. you have to pay more. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. I went in, and when she handed me the hairdryer, I'm like, well, what am I meant to do with this? <laughs> I didn't go back. I figured it out eventually. Uh, I didn't speak any German at that time, so you can imagine it was quite funny. Now, you mentioned actually Shiny and April. You mentioned that men nowadays, they they have more of a, well, let's call it a grooming routine rather than a beauty routine, Yeah. So what would be part of a man's grooming routine? Shaving. Yeah. After shave. So shave. So to shave. Uh, what's involved? Let's, let's stick to the shaving aspect. What's involved in shaving?
You mean which products? Hmm. What do you think? Verbs. Verbs. Do you mean? Verbs or products? You mean? What's involved? What's actually? What takes place when you putting, shave? Putting foam before, uh, just uh, uh, like rinse your face first, like and after it put the foam uh, for shaving, and after it using razor or if raise or how to say using razor but which okay shave shave shave, shave. Yeah, yeah to you shave, shave <laughs> okay. so you shave with a razor yeah you shave with a razor okay i think what you meant was rinse your face so you have to make your face wet first yeah you rinse your yes face with water yeah rinse then you apply the shaving foam or the shaving oil there's shaving oil out there as well and then you shave with the razor and after that what do you do um, i just uh, after it uh, against uh, again uh, rinse my face and i don't use some people use like uh, uh, after shave after shave uh, like uh, and uh, i used uh, some very sensitive uh, Nivea I don't, Nivea product uh, after shave product uh, maybe 10 years ago like and they said like for very sensitive skin but it didn't work for me because actually I, I like uh, feel like uh, that my uh, it uh, like uh, caused me like uh, itching and scratching because it was like and I, and I give up gave up of uh, so, uh, okay. apply, uh, of applying irritated mm -hmm. my skin irritated my yeah. skin yeah that can involve reddening um, itching as you said drying out all that it irritated my skin oh you've got sensitive skin Rima <laughs> yeah but not no, no, actually when I I don't know maybe it's some coincidence but uh, after uh, not doing like uh, not applying this like uh, uh, after shave uh, i i have no problems like uh, just uh, rinse my hand it's actually i it's economical <laughs> yeah it's much but cheaper yes, than i after didn't shave. give up <laughs> yes no. yes and that's especially very sensitive they are more expensive uh, than regular ones, like a cheaper one, but yeah, I'm well, afraid so. I, I think so that it was so expensive. But I didn't give up. Uh, give up because of price. I give up because of uh, it was like uh, irritated my skin. Yeah, that's yeah. no, very sensible. Very sensible. Uh, now, a question. I wrote to apply aftershave. We often use this verb to apply. What other things might we apply, do you think? Where or what? Product or where? Like a place. <laughs> you tell me. Just a verb. To apply. How would you use that in a sentence, maybe? To apply to the university. Okay, that's another meaning of to apply. Oh, okay. Okay, so you can apply for a job. You can apply to a university. Now, if you notice, each of those applies has got a preposition. But just apply... And different prepositions. Uh, yeah. <laughs> four and two. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid so. But to apply, um, and in the context I used it, to apply aftershave, yeah? Obviously, you're not applying to it. You're not applying for it. You're just applying it. It means to use it, to apply something. You can apply your knowledge. To apply to perfume? Can, you, can I say that? To you apply, apply perfume. perfume? Yeah, perfume. Perfume. Apply all sorts of things. Apply deodorant. To apply wax, to apply gel. Yeah. 
This means to put it on yourself or to put it on another person. Okay, shows you that these prepositions, um, they are really important. I mean, you, that you use them with the right verb. Okay, now um, I thought we could do a little bit of reading. So, April, you were the first one in to speak with me. If you'd like to read this first piece of text. Okay, thank you. If your morning bathroom routine hasn't evolved beyond shaving with a disposable razor and washing your face with a creamy bar of soap, it's time you made some modifications to your skincare routine. By stocking up on a few key grooming products and giving yourself an extra minute or two in front of the mirror, you can keep sits wrinkles uh, wrinkle oh no wrinkles wrinkles greasy skin and razor burn at bed at bay at bay and as an extra bonus you won't have to feel guilty secretly sneaking with girlfriend's product come on you know you do <laughs> yeah. i sometimes I also have the sneaking uh, my son's products. I sometimes exactly. I we start and see, oh, that's <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> Especially the yeah? <laughs> yeah, some of the body sprays are so pungent, but they actually smell quite nice and fresh. <laughs> okay, couple of little words. First one, grimy. Grimy. Ah, uh, it's grimy. Grimy. Yes, grime being. What's another word for grime? If you look about where we are now, we'll come to that in a moment, where we are now, would you think this is grimy, a bit grimy maybe, where you're sitting? I can see... Oh, uh, see. Um, dirty. Yeah, grimy is another word for dirty, a bit... A bit sort of ooh, looks I mean if you look at the pavement here you can see I can see a rather large looking cigarette butt I can see lots of um, chewing gum has stuck to the ground on the pavement I can see some paint stains that haven't been and underneath the um, beneath the uh, bus stop you can see lots of bird poo as well. I'd call it pretty grimy. I wouldn't want to eat my dinner off this ground, would you? Really? So it's grimy. Yeah, dirty. Oh, you can just see a fog. Oh, you'll have to watch the recording, Rima. I'm sorry. Um, if you like, I can share the stream with you because I am going to ask you where you think I, where you think we are. And it's going to be a bit difficult if all you can say is fog <laughs> by the seaside because it's foggy. <laughs> Shall I share the stream so you can have a look? OK, no problem. I'll see if I can find it first, of course, and without crashing. OK, Okay, no, no problem if it's if it could cause no, no, a problem. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, well, if I suddenly disappear, you'll know what's happened. <laughs> we, we want you here. <laughs> These things do happen, so okay. All I need to do now is go to videos. I always have to remember how to get to this part, and then uh, I know my channel. Yep, yeah, I'm in my channel, I'm in my videos, and then I need to go to. They never make it particularly easy, you know. Yes, peeps. Yeah, no, that's it. I've got it. Hello. Sorry then, but what, how they, do they like, uh, in the first ten sentence, uh, do they say, I suppose they say like to, um, like, uh, 
that uh, they like uh, wanted to say like uh, uh, because of this modification that uh, the that person uh, used uh, uh, did use uh, like uh, disposable disposable razor and uh, this uh, grimy uh, grimy bar of soap like uh, they used it and so now it's time to change the hair yes. to break I mean, the hair. It's a bit, it's but a bit. how they uh, mm -hmm, sorry because I I don't know how they uh, express because uh, routine he hasn't evolved. What's the key word here? I, 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 but how do, how did they make it like with beyond or what, what's like, uh, well, I from the context of Putin. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you think about how men used to get ready for work, for example, yeah, splash the water on the face, shave with a blade, a sharp blade, quite often a, a real blade, like a knife. <laughs> Um, maybe without even shaving foam, they'd use just normal soap. Yeah. So very quick, okay, but... very rough mm -hmm. and ready, if you like. Not much in the way. Of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now it's. But but what's the word? Word like beyond. Beyond. Like to what, evolve what, what's... beyond something, to to move to... past it. So to evolve beyond. Something. Like stay the same. That no, means no, like, no. To uh, change. When we evolve, he hasn't. Uh, we improve, if you're more, uh, yeah. So oh like, yes, he hasn't evolved beyond. Okay, so it's uh, it uh, didn't change. Okay. Okay. To go beyond. Okay, so for example, in education, I like to think we've evolved beyond the classroom. Okay, many places haven't yet, but they need to. We've evolved, we've now got the internet, we've now got all this technology we can use to evolve beyond the classroom, to change and to improve things. So it's saying, um, if you're still stuck in this old way of grooming, then you need to change, okay? Oh, okay, thank you. Then that's okay. I've just given you the doubt. stream thank link, you. so you should be able to and see where we are. And the link. Okay, okay I'll Great. close it down so I don't push myself. Any other questions about the text? So, grimy we did, yeah? And then the, the other one, uh, April, it begins with Z. Zits. Zits. Do you know what a zit is? Zit. Have you ever had a zit? <laughs> Um, Z is in my word, in my language is uh, seat. <laughs> so. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever had a, a zit on your face? <laughs> when I was young, yes. Oh, it is terrible. I just said yesterday when I look at myself in the mirror, I think, oh, actually you, you have a, a beautiful, <laughs> a nicely face. Uh, skin uh, skin face because uh, there okay. is nothing nice there skin. okay you have nice, nice skin skin. <laughs> skin on your face that would imply you've got somebody else's skin on your face which you wouldn't want <laughs> so you have nice skin it, the skin belongs to you it's part of your body okay it's like saying you've got a nice hand on your hand no you've got nice hands yeah <laughs> Okay, so, um, yeah, sometimes, you know, you're obviously aging well, April. No wrinkles? No wrinkles? No. Wow. no. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, only, oh, only, oh, 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 oh. Uh, I crow? crow uh, uh, crow's feet. Crow's, crow's feet? Yes, crow's feet. Yeah, crow, crow's feet, yes. <laughs> yeah, crow's feet are um, the wrinkles around your eyes. It's nicer to call them, actually, um, laughter lines. <laughs> Okay, and then the other one which you get a smiley for uh, was bay. Yes, at to bay. Razor burn at bay to keep to stop to prevent razor burn. Yeah, keep it at bay, prevent it. If you keep something at bay, can you think of anything else you might keep at bay? Keep that. Uh... Uh, growling uh, dog at bay yeah absolutely if you've got a dangerous growling snarling dog you want to keep it away keep it away 
okay? But you Yelping. can keep something at bay. You can try to keep it away from you to prevent the problems. A lot of people try to keep age at bay and they buy these products because they think it will help to keep age at bay, to control it, okay? Because it seem as harmful or as as unpleasant, okay? And of course, razor burn. I mean, I don't know, Rima. Have you ever had razor burn? Actually, that was my question. I, uh -huh. <laughs> what is it? Is it just a regular razor, or it's like electrical razor? What is, or maybe something <laughs> else? What? What? what I is, didn't catch that second part it? of your question. Um, it's, a razor, a razor burn. Is it like a, just a regular razor, or what is it? No, no. It's a product. It's a buy. It's a nasty um, effect of shaving without using any um, anything to protect your face. So if you imagine, oh, like Rima, when you cut, shaving, to cut. Not, no. That's a that's a razor cut. That's a cut. No, razor okay. burn is if you shave and you don't put enough foam on your face shaving foam on your face and then you catch the bristles because uh, on your chin and your upper lip we call them bristles you catch the bristles without any um, water or any shaving foam then it can cause this like it's like burning scratching sensation not a cut but it makes your skin red and sore and we call that razor burn I'm wondering if I can find an image of razor burn Oh yes, yeah. but as I said, it it was like uh, before when I used this like uh, this after shave, but not uh, actually. Sometimes it's like uh, uh, you know that my I said it uh, many times uh, that my parents have a shop, so it's like I I can go uh, downstairs to pick up to buy one uh, one. But sometimes it happened when I. Uh, when I go to sleep and I I uh, notice so for instance I notice in my the things in in the bot in the bottle there is no any foam anymore so like uh, I just <laughs> uh, improvise it a little bit and nothing happened it's what it probably is something that with this like uh, after shave it was like uh, what caused me like uh, this what irritated my skin but uh -huh. i did notice maybe just if i'm in a hurry so i can uh, uh i can't do this like uh, uh razor cut but not this razor burn I uh, the razor, I've, I'm just showing on the stream uh from grooming essentials blog uh what razor burn can look like it looks like a rash it looks like a nasty rash and it's caused usually by um shaving without providing any lubricant on your face so you literally just you're almost pulling the hairs out <laughs> instead of shaving them off <laughs> very painful and you don't want to put aftershave on razor burn because it hurts <laughs> not that I know personally but my nephew um, when he first started shaving went through many of these issues I'm afraid many a scream coming from the <laughs> bathroom <laughs> Okay, any other quest any questions about the text that April just read? Uh, uh, about grime, Lint, that it comes from the verb to grime, but what is then uh, the verb for uh, the clown, for example, uh, who... Um, to grime? A clown? Yeah? Mm, no? I don't really use... Well... No, I don't use that as a verb. I mean, it it is a verb, but um, I would never say I grimed something. No, 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 no. It is grimy. It's very, I would say that's a very unusual way of using the, it as a verb. Um, to dirty something, maybe. But I wouldn't, I'd never say I grimed the mirror. No, the mirror was grimy. It was begrimed, but not, you know, um, I splashed the mirror. I made the mirror dirty. I... I, I fogged up the mirror. Never, I'd never say to grime, honestly. So what was your other part of the question, April? <laughs> you just shocked me with that, to grime. Uh, uh, I was thinking of uh, a clown, that uh, a clown has to give some makeup on uh, their face. Yeah. So, uh, and what, uh, we call it uh, a, a grimmer? A grimoire 
um, so or, or for example uh, children also eh? in a in a kind of uh, a fancy fair for example they can sometimes uh, uh, let their uh, have their uh, faces uh, that face painted. Um, just face painted um, yeah. no no grime no no i mean there is the word, there is the word grimace to grimace that means to pull a face but that's nothing to do with grime um and clowns just have makeup on we, we call it clowns makeup yeah but clown makeup or clowns makeup but no i've never heard anything to do with grime um whether whether that's maybe something um that you might use if you were a clown but I've never heard it, okay? And the only things I can find out, clown grime is in Dutch. So, <laughs> okay. Or in the theater, for example. It, does, it, it, it doesn't have uh, any link with theater grime. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's only makeup, yep, okay. Theater makeup artist, theater makeup. Um, Okay. Theatrical makeup, <laughs> professional makeup, stage makeup, but not grime, no. Okay, interesting. I didn't know okay, that, that association. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if uh, maybe in France also. Uh... Possibly, we need to, we'll need to ask some maybe. Okay, so um, Shiny, if you would like to read the next bit... If stress, sweat, the weather, whatever makes your skin freak out, freak out this gentle cleanser contains zit zapping, salicylic, and that penetrates the pores, which helps banish existing eruptions and prevent future flare-ups very good well done sorry about the salicylic acid <laughs> that's mean isn't it but it's a it's an ingredient it's an ingredient of this particular product well we won't name the product but um it's a, you know you'll often find it i don't know if you've ever read the label on beauty products have you have you read the label recently on your shampoo, your conditioner, your shaving foam? Yeah, it's full of words like that. Absolutely. They want to make it sound scientific, I guess. Yeah. Oh, it must work. It's got salicylic acid in it. Ooh. <laughs> OK, and the other one is we do say to clean. To clean, but this is a cleanser. To cleanse. Okay, so try it, cleanser. Ooh, shiny? Cleanser. Uh, cleanser. Yeah. Well, cleanser. That's it, well done. Thank you. Okay, Rima, uh, any questions? Let's not scoot on too quickly. What like is flare ups? Like ah, flare ups. Yes. Flare ups of spots. When teenagers, do you know what we call spots when teenagers get a lot of spots on their face? It's particularly young people. It can happen to older people. But when there's a lot of spots on your face, do you know what we call it? Acne. 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 Oh. Yeah, acne. So if you do get you say pimples? Sorry, Shiny? Do you say pimples? Pimples, yep. Pimples, spots. <laughs> Zits, yeah, all the horrible things that make your teenage years a misery. And you can still end up getting pimples, especially just before job interviews or just before the first date with somebody. <laughs> You're bound to get a big red pimple on your nose. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> right on the end of your nose. <laughs> Luckily, I, I, haven't, I haven't yet... Uh... Ooh, touch wood when you say that. I've never had, 
I've never had. I never, I never, okay, to, to agree with, yes, I never had uh, it, and because I, I, my father and my mother uh, also, I think that is something like, my brother also doesn't uh, have any, like, pimples. Very, very Ac lucky. Because it's, it's nothing to do yeah. with being dirty or being clean or what products, it's just genetic. And, um, you know, if you get it, you get it. And there's not a lot, but a lot of money is spent on trying to get rid of it. And, um, yeah, some products work. They strip your skin away, but they do work. And millions, millions is spent uh, on acne, on acne treatments. Because it's just, oh, it's just so awful at that time of your life when you're at your most sensitive uh, and then you get this eruption. So when it flares up, April, it literally erupts out of your face <laughs> like a volcanic flare up. <laughs> oh, we, we, we call like uh, when some person has like uh, these like, uh, uh, like craters. Yep. In, in uh, on his face or her face like but it's usually i didn't know yes it can leave uh, acne scars acne scars acne scar. yeah, yeah that's when you can see somebody had bad acne as a child and they've got a pitted skin but no i'm talking about at the time if you have a flare-up it means it gets particularly worse okay yet m many people do shiny it's just one of those things it's you know Life writing on you. <laughs> and there's so many myths about acne as well. And um, yeah, eating chocolate will f make your acne flare up. Uh, no, not true. Um, or not Washing skin. your face with li vinegar will make it go. No, not true. <laughs> And millions are spent every year buying products and developing products to cure acne or to prevent acne or to clear acne, uh, to clear it up. But um, yeah, Clearasil, yes, absolutely, Clearasil. Yeah, but that's just their own insecurities coming out shiny. They're kind of going, I don't think they were laughing at you. I think they're laughing at the fact that, oh, thank goodness it's not me. <laughs> It's your cross to bear, I'm afraid. We're very cruel when it comes to anything that makes us stand out or look different, I'm afraid. But uh, there are people with far worse uh, things in life, so it's best to just accept it. And um, that it's their problem, not yours. But of course, when you're younger, you don't have the wherewithal to cope with such things. Okay, Rima, would you like to read next? Uh, wake up from wake up. Uh, wake up, yes. Can you hear me? Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, wake up and wash. This everyday, oh, uh, this everyday <laughs> cleanser. Yes, yes. Cleanser, cleanser contains a mineral complex of calcium, magnesium, and potassium, plus soothing botanical extracts, extracts uh, that hydrate while it purges the grime from your face. Don't you love? the language they use. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first yes, of all, uh, very important, <laughs> nothing to do with potatoes. Potassium. Potassium. Potas potassium. Yeah. Potassium. potassium. Yeah. And purges. To purge. Purges. Purges. Pur purges. Purges. Yeah, normally with the G-E-S ending, you will pronounce the E, like oranges. 
Yeah, rages, purges. So it's G E S. It's a it's a you voice the E. So um, I love the way they mix up science. So you've got calcium, magnesium, and potassium, and then botanical extracts. It's all nice and na natural. It's <laughs> It's like spreading flowers on your face. <laughs> and everybody knows what to hydrate means in this context. To hydrate your skin. Like to regenerate. But... In what way? Think about Hydra. like uh, water like maybe yeah, to refre it. refresh yeah like. to moisturize your skin but they don't use the word moisturize on male products because moisturizer has got this female link to it women use moisturizers men hydrate <laughs> yes exactly shiny to moisturize dry skin to make dry skin not wet but hydrated moisturized for women hydrated for men okay any questions Okay, like one. this, yeah. uh, sorry. Okay, L like this product, product uh, doing two things simultaneously, like uh, it disclaiming. Uh, yes, I mean, be careful of the verb to do. Uh, a lot of these products make claims, yeah, uh, but honestly, some water and a bit of soap would do exactly the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, but did they mention, uh, did they, uh, have I uh, arrived uh, late, uh, late uh, did they mention what the product is, the name? No, no, I'm not mentioning the product names because I don't want oh, to advertise okay, okay. them. Yeah, these are just some of the things okay. that they're claiming on these different products, okay? I mentioned Linvea, Lin, <laughs> why did you, <laughs> Don't. why didn't you warn me? <laughs> It's okay. Yeah, and I, April's already mentioned Yves Rocher as well, L'Oreal, all of these products, all of these manufacturers. They exist. We know who they are. But they make some crazy claims for their products. And nowadays, I love the, wor the words they use for men because, as I say, hydrate, uh, grime. They wouldn't use grime for women. They'd say removes any dirt. They wouldn't say removes grime. Um, it's this different language used for masculine and feminine products. Really, it's amazing. A whole industry built around figuring out how to attract men towards these products. So, um, April, are you ready to read again? You'll like this one. Yeah, thank you. Maybe they'll send us some. Yeah, we'd say we'd send us some freebies some freebies <laughs> I think we'd have to have a larger audience before we'll attract that kind of offer sadly <laughs> and then we'd have to we'd have to announce it on uh, you know this video has been sponsored by um, makeup product of the year <laughs> blah blah <laughs> okay April here's your text I love this text Okay, this packer protector contains the, the ingredients you want and lacks the fragrance and dyes you, do, you don't. Broad spectrum SPF 25 sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen shields, oh, sunscreen shields your skin from the sun's harmful rays and antioxidants and emollients revived chapped or wind burnt lips it comes in five different flavors to suit your taste too 
Okay, the the the, the strawberry one, I think, <laughs> from the li for the lips. <laughs> oh no, these don't come in strawberry. Now, why? There's five flavors. I was going to ask you this. Let me just let me just get fragrances out of the way first. So it's a fragrance, not fra. Fragrance and fragrances because it's plural. Okay, try it. Fragrances. That's it. Now it mentions five. Um, fragrances, five different f flavors, sorry, f flavors. Now, remember, these products are being aimed at men. So why wouldn't strawberry be one of the product flavors? What's wrong with strawberry? Do you eat strawberries, Rima? Do you like strawberries? Do I eat? Mm, do you like them? Yes, I like to eat. Yeah. I like to eat. You like, you like the taste, yeah? So why taste, wouldn't yes. they provide men with strawberry flavour? Men like strawberries. My hubby loves strawberries. What's wrong with strawberries, do you think? No? Would you buy a strawberry flavoured lip balm, Rima? Uh, when, as it, uh, as it said, for the lips uh, protection, yep. when yeah, they to are protect affected. your lips from the cold, from snow, from the heat, from sun, stop them drying out. Too girly, thank you, shiny. Yeah, strawberries. Yeah, maybe strawberry. it gives the the, the red color, Lynn. Um, well, no? not necessarily. You don't have yeah. to put a coloring yeah. in. A dye in, but but uh, yes, it is like I I I, don't, I didn't maybe I just didn't uh, notice, but uh, here like if they do like a camouflage, if they put like a blue uh, color uh, blue color uh, cover uh, on this like April said like uh, to blue, uh, on that uh, strawberry, maybe because it's like um, as shiny also said too girly like uh, because of color. I, because I don't know why, as you said, Lynn, also your hubby like, I, uh, likes eating strawberry, likes the taste. I, I, I know that a lot of uh, men like uh, eating uh, strawberries and I don't know, taste is really good. So maybe it's like uh, just because yeah, maybe they're it's packed that in pink, there. girly color we associate. Girly with color. Strawberries. Here is like the, this color is girly color, like yep. red. And... Yeah, red, pink that kind of color um just trying to think what it's called there is a product there is a, a, a sort of like a a series of toys that came out a while ago and i'm trying to think what they called it, it was strawberry something like a biscuit well, but it wasn't a biscuit um hmm. trying to think strawberries and cream it wasn't that oh yeah that's it I think it was strawberry shortcake and it was a strawberry short there they go <laughs> this might be why they don't try to get it um, oh I can't share that that's too long hang on um, so Okay, this I'm going to share on here. This was a, a doll called Strawberry Shortcake and uh, obviously aimed at girls. <laughs> Strawberries all over her, pink and yeah, very girly. So it's not aimed at men. Well done, Shiny. Too girly. So what flavours do you think they'll have aimed at men? What flavours do you think this lip balm might come in? Any ideas? Flavors whiskey, might attract whiskey. <laughs> I don't think they thought of that one. I like it. <laughs> That's not one of them. But I think it should be <laughs> whiskey flavored Guinness. lip balm. Guinness. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're a boozy lot. <laughs> no, no, not yet. There's no alcohol involved. Okay, they are fruits and flavorings, but uh, mint, coconut, mint, coconut. mint, yeah, mint, mint. Yeah. yeah, natural mint is one yeah 
So that's one. Four more to go. Any other ideas? Pineapples? No, no pineapple. Think citrus. Yeah, I think citrus. What's a citrus fruit? Lemon. Not lemon. Lemon. Yeah, lemon is one. So I've got three more to go. Uh, you might have been thinking of lime. Lime is the green citrus fruit and lemon is the yellow citrus fruit. Another citrus fruit as well. But so far we've got mint and grapefruit. lemon. Grapefruit. Well grapefruit. done. Grapefruit. Yeah. Oh. My husband would never wear them. Oh, God, he'd never use that. He hates grapefruits. <laughs> he can't stand them. So grapefruit, lemon, mint. Two more. Cucumber. <laughs> it's a good one, actually. So that would be nice. Oh, yeah. Refreshing. It's, yeah, but no, it's, yeah, really it's refreshing. Yeah, it's refreshing. Think about something you might put in cake to give it a flavour. Something coconut. Like puddings. Not coconut, no. Um, although, again, that, that would be quite a nice neutral because a lot of women wear coconut stuff, but I can't see why men wouldn't. Grape. Not grape. grape. No, no. You don't put grape in cake, do you? Do you make grape cake? But dry grape. Not but apple, but there's... again, apple would be a good one. Not dry, not raisins or currants, no. No, I think we, we'll go through, I think it will take too long because we're going to run out of time. Uh, vanilla. Nuts. Oh. Vanilla. <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> yeah, why not? Um, again, there's no, yeah, no, there's no real, I like it. <laughs> there's no real association with nuts as being girly or particularly masculine. So I think that would be nice and neutral. But vanilla and the last one you'll never guess was black tea, believe it or not. Black tea, ice cream flavored lip balm. Yeah, I'm sure it exists. Shiny. I'm sure if you were to check it would it would exist. OK. Why not green tea? Nine lives, it nine must lives. be green tea. Must be more girly, uh, <laughs> reasonable. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a product manager, but that's what they came up with. Uh, in fact, it, they take it a bit further. So the natural mint is actually natural mint and shea butter, the black tea and blackberry, lemon and chamomile, grapefruit and ginger, and vanilla and of all things lavender. I would have thought that would smell too much like your granny's knicker drawer, to be honest. But there you go. That's what they offered the men. <laughs> OK. Uh, they mentioned SPF. No, exactly. Exactly. Rima. <laughs> and a lot of um, women's products and men's products nowadays, they offer sun protection factor. Huh? So you'll find it actually in the labeling SPF 15, SPF 30, SPF 50, not su sound sun. <laughs> oh, why, why Kitely doesn't possess <laughs> editing, but <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's soon gone. It's soon gone. <laughs> okay. So let's just do. Another one with Shiny. Shiny, if you'd like to read that one out. Stole of poor, a poor clogging, dead skin cells and smooth skin for its clear complexion and closer shape. The caffeine, menthol, and citrus extracts perk you up on those mornings when you when the party raged into the the early hours very good well done perfect just a little bit on caffeine not caffeine just caffeine imagine putting caffeine in Coffee. this product for your face might as well just wash your face in your i don't know your coffee grounds after you've had your coffee in the morning <laughs> So here we got a clear complexion. So what is a clear complexion? All right, 
hobbies clattering about, so a clear complexion. Not colour, no. What is your complexion? Let's start with that then. We've all got a complexion. Yeah, you, your skin, but it's the appearance of your skin. Okay. Um, so you can have a ruddy complexion. You can have a pale complexion. So that can mean a, an amount of colour in your skin. But a clear complexion just means no spots. That's it. No freckles. You know what freckles are? Maybe a tanned complexion, yeah. Freckles? Freckles is something that is characteristic. Is it characteristic for Britain, for British um, people? Not necessarily. A lot of people talk about... Because... Um, yeah, a lot of people talk about the British complexion being peaches and cream. Um, but yes, if you have fair skin, especially if you're a redhead, you're likely to have freckles. I get freckles in the summer over my nose. I get, but not not like um, Pippi Longstocking or, uh, <laughs> but peaches and cream they often talk about in the UK for a clear complexion. I like. Is that also for the like old age, Lynn? The 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 spot yeah. that you get uh, when you become old, older, like me. In what way do you mean? Uh, the freckles we call that also freckles no, or is that only for no, no. Liver spots freckles acute liver spots mean you're on your way out <laughs> okay if you if you look it up you'll find liver spots they're a sign of aging actually a sign of sun damage and your skin not regenerating anymore so bad news <laughs> but what's what's the difference how do you yes, uh, now april remind me of something i noticed that some people because in serbia i maybe some in, in rare but uh, usually i didn't notice uh, many many like young people to have like uh, freckles like but uh, actually uh, like uh, like I, April said, I noticed maybe to some older people, like uh, when they come to some age, I don't know why it's maybe some appear some. Uh, is it like the liver spots? But how to dis distinguish uh, them uh, from the freckles? Um, because... It's basically the size, the position on the face. I mean, it's like spotting the difference between a freckle and a malignant tumor, isn't it? Like a melanoma or something. It's is it a freckle or is it cancer? It's like, <laughs> you'd have to go and uh, but generally freckles appear on the face and they're small, light brown, and uh, age spots can be all over the body. They tend to be bigger and darker uh, or, or liver spots. Okay, and um, yeah, but not uh, like. Uh... Uh, maybe uh, here is like this. Uh, I did. I don't know what April. Maybe uh, she thought about. Uh, I noticed that older people here not uh, uh, on their faces, just maybe on their uh, arms Hand, or yeah, hands yeah, and yeah, then uh, spots. arms. Yeah, age, spots. Yeah. age spots, liver spots. Yeah, uh, but it's there similar have... in appearance. But then you can also have moles, not the little creatures that live underground, but larger individual spots on your skin uh, with the slightly raised, they're moles. Okay. Yes, but they are like, uh, they can, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, moles, I, I, I have like a mole on, on my face and it's... Uh, it's not uh, so small, like uh, I. No, no, exactly. They tend to be larger, so speak, more raised, but... and they're darker. Yeah, they're yeah. not liver spots. I mean, it's a good question. And they are... It's a good question, but it's to do with basically um, uh, the the size, the darkness, um, and where on the body they 
appear as to whether you'd say it's a liver spot or a freckle okay and moles can't be like uh, you everyone has to take care about them you do indeed. Uh, any any oh, yeah. any change in the appearance of your skin you should be well, yeah yeah you should be skin aware you should know you know what bits of your skin have got what on them and go for regular especially if you live in a hot country um like in Australia, especially, they have to be super careful. But I mean, they can all change in appearance. They're all different sizes and different colors. Um, but yeah, you can decide uh, on your age, whether it's, you just call them freckles if you want to. I haven't got liver spots, I've got freckles. <laughs> but my i have like believe me or not my father like uh i used the uh, one i don't know from whom he heard about this like uh but um i don't know where he bought it uh, like uh aloe vera like oh, uh, yes. like a plant yep, and he uh, yes and he like uh put it on uh, uh, su uh suddenly one more appear on uh, uh just be uh above his ear and uh like it uh started growing like uh it's um like uh bigger in became uh bigger in radius so like uh, uh he went to doctor and doctor like uh prescribed uh, prescribed uh, to him something and uh, didn't and it uh, didn't work so <laughs> uh he did it uh, by himself like uh, heard that uh, story and implement uh, uh put it uh, like uh, squeeze like aloe and uh, that juice he put uh, put on this like mole and after some time this mole disappeared <laughs> believe me or not yeah wow okay good for him well hopefully it'll stay away as well <laughs> Yeah. At least he went to the doctor. That's good news because a lot of men, they um, they tend not to. Yeah, yeah, but he went. Yes, he went. Yeah, but yeah, actually, good, good. and so some people just just like uh, it's not like especially with it more like uh, if they are uh, start bleeding or something like it. It's uh, first sign to go to doctor because it could be like more, maybe not immediately, but. Uh, it happens sometimes that uh, some some people uh, um, probably because of it of this like um, because they uh, hurt these moles and they didn't uh, maybe they like yeah. uh, well, you, you need to check it's not malignant mm -hmm. which is uh, when it's cancerous okay you bought aloe juice without sugar and it okay and it tastes not good you could say it didn't taste good or it doesn't taste good um i've never drunk it i have to say i don't think i would but i have used it on sunburn it's very good against sunburn it's very good to soothe the skin anyway talking of soothing skin da um has anybody guessed where we are looking at the picture do you know where we are in front of boots yeah we're op opposite boots we're not in front of boots opposite yeah we're opposite ah, okay. boots boots the chemist so we could go in there and buy all these products there i'm sure and uh, where which boots because boots is an international chain um there are lots of them where do you think we might be in respect to what country what city any ideas No? Can be in Belgrade. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no, it's, <laughs> it's all in English around it's here. If you look. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Everything's no, no. in English. Lloyd's Bank, Bon Marche. We could be in France, but we're not. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can see anything on the. On the. Um, no, there's nothing really to give you a clue. Let's have a look at the bus in the distance. Oh, that's not going to help you either. Okay, I'll put you out of your misery. We're in Nottingham. 
<laughs> oh, Nick, that's your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you get off at this bus stop. <laughs> okay. Number 11 bus. <laughs> And that's Victoria Centre. We're opposite Victoria Centre. That's the big shopping centre in Nottingham. And it's a very large boots. It's like three floors of uh, chemist stuff, beauty products, grooming products, everything you might want. And if boots are watching this and they want to send me a big parcel, please feel free to do so. <laughs> OK, so on that note, I will love you and leave you. TGIF in Discord, remember um in ooh, 20 minutes or so so maybe see you there i'm sure we'll be talking about karaoke which reminds me april karaoke on monday evening i can't remember are you free monday evening no oh, not at that hour classes, classes seven o'clock yeah oh well never mind next time maybe okay it's just it has to be a bit later this week because i've got german literally up until seven o'clock I will be in my German lesson. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I've got to make it a bit later. OK, Shiny, are you going to come to karaoke on Monday? Monday evening, not in the calendar. Rima's already chosen his song. Uh, is it at midnight in my time? I don't know. Seven o'clock my time. So uh, before... Yeah. Uh, Natasha's session, okay, but after uh, Marion's session. Uh, midnight. Midnight, okay, maybe not then. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, I didn't want you to miss out or think you'd missed out, okay. As I say, it won't be on the calendar, so um, this is going by word of mouth uh, only, okay. You're welcome. OK, thanks for coming and thanks for taking part. I hope you learned a little bit more about this grooming and beauty products. And uh, I thought it would be fair on uh, the guys to make it more about their products because ladies have oh, usually we, we, we have it more. Um, we talk about a lot more sort of. vocabulary that's to do with ladies so that was just for you today Rima okay <laughs> take care thank then. you bye. thank you you too shiny you, you too. Bye. if I don't see you later then uh, have thank a nice you, weekend Liam. you're welcome April thank you bye 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 What uh, what did you we talk? I let going... my hair to to grow to some ex extent, and after it, I I go to the my hair uh, my barbers. Barbers, barbers. okay. So yeah. you see, <laughs> you see how careful yeah. Rima was not to say hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I, I noticed in the chat box. <laughs> yeah, men tend uh, to go wrote. to the barbers. With the, uh, traditionally in the UK, a barbers will have a red and white stripy pole outside. A very old. You can still find them in t in cities and towns in the UK, and um, it's because of the blood and bandages. Because barbers used to do surgery. Can you imagine? In the past, there were no people couldn't afford to go to the doctor, so. Things like tooth extraction, sewing up wounds would be done by the barber. That's why it's got such a masculine kind of um, reputation, maybe. <laughs> so, um, any other questions about that part of the text? So there was a mixture of what we call products. Products. They have different products. Sometimes at the hairdresser, um, they might ask you, would you like some product? Any idea what you'd be being offered if somebody said, would you like some product in your hair? Especially you, Rima. Uh, shampoo. 
Mm, that's not product, no. Product tends to be something that stays in your hair. So if somebody would say, would you like some product on your hair? They'd probably be offering you gel or hair spray. Oh, gel, yeah. Yeah, the stuff. So good afternoon. Uh, believe it or not, we are in Kitely up on our platform. And um, I'm going to ask you where you think we are in a moment. But first, just to say, we're going to be looking at the um, vocabulary challenge number 66. It was very funny. Zom nearly um, had a fit the other day when she realised there'd been 67 vocabulary challenges now. So she's like, oh my God. <laughs> so I'm hoping you're still enjoying them. Um, thank you for taking part, Shiny and April. It's always good when somebody's taken part and then comes to this session. I think, you know, going from the last couple of sessions, it works better if people kind of know what we're talking about. So um, as it says on the description here, the, the challenge was about beauty and grooming products. Now, um, did you understand that as a, an overall part of the challenge? Was that clear to you when you, when you saw the picture and you started naming the items in it? Uh, what is grooming actually? Yeah, grooming. Well, it's one of those words that has different meanings. Okay, to groom. It can be very negative. Um, grooming on the internet can be in order to do something illegal. Um, so it can be involved in child abuse or in um, fraud where somebody grooms somebody to make them feel that I know they're in a relationship with them or they have romantically attached and then before you know it they're asking for money that's grooming but in this context <laughs> there's nothing illegal about it men tend not to want to talk about beauty okay <laughs> beauty is considered well i don't know do you agree that beauty is a feminine thing not in this state well, yeah, so, it's, it's changed. Yeah. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Good point, Shiny. <laughs> what do you think, April? Do you think beauty is a, a feminine thing? Um, actually, I think um, for most women, it is uh, something about something for um yeah for the for the females for the women for the women but nowadays but i we know that in the past also uh uh men also uh did something for their beauty but they don't consider Not, it beauty so what what do we no. tend to call a man who's very i mean you can use the term good looking hey good looking and you can use that for a woman or a man but what uh, we say beautiful, we tend to say beautiful for a woman, yeah? Uh, what do we call a man who's very good looking? Rather than handsome? A, handsome, yeah. I, I, I can't imagine how my husband would react if somebody walked up to him and said, oh my God, you're so beautiful. <laughs> I don't think he'd thank them. But if a woman, a beautiful woman, walked up to him and said, hello, handsome, I'm sure he'd like that. <laughs> Before he panicked and ran away. OK, so because of that term beauty being associated with women and female feminine things, then men tend not to want to buy beauty products. So beauty products, and again, tend to be aimed at feminine people, okay? Women and people who feel feminine. Grooming products tend to be aimed at men, okay? So when I said beauty and grooming, because it contained 
pictures that can be used by men and women or just by women or just by men or just by feminine people and just by masculine people that covered both beauty and grooming okay but like uh, um body milk for example is that also beauty products well Lynn? this is something we can talk about yeah <laughs> i mean it can be used on babies so you know do we want our babies to be beautiful well i suppose we do but um we wouldn't really bo be bothered about putting beauty products on them but we use body lotion body milk creams etc to keep their skin soft to keep their skin looking healthy um again we're not going to go into the does it work or not realm because that would be i don't know a whole course i think <laughs> We're going to do a very superficial surface look at these things. So if you look at um, grooming in the dictionary, uh, April, could you read out that text? Uh, grooming, grooming refers to the things that people do to keep themselves clean and make their face, hair and skin look nice. Very good. Well done. Yes. So again, it's, it's not specifically a masculine or feminine thing, but it's aimed at men because of the feminine aspect towards beauty products. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if I say to my husband, uh, are you going to get your hair done? He says, I don't have my hair done. I have it cut. <laughs> And it's just because to have your hair done, you go to, he doesn't go to the hairdressers, he goes to the barbers. <laughs> because hairdressers are traditionally for women, yeah? And barbers are traditionally for men. So women get their hair done. And men get their hair cut. <laughs> Hello, Rima. Nice to see you. Have you got voice, Rima? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> nice to see you. Okay, we're talking about... Um, I'll give you the link to the challenge because I don't think you took part in it, but I know you often read them. So maybe you've read this one. So, Lynn, uh, I can't say, or is it uh, not that uh, not uh, that usual to say, I went to let my hair cut. I went to have, I have my to say, hair cut to have to, my hair cut. To have my, yeah. But I can say that word cut for me. Oh, yes. We're not bothered. I can have my hair cut or I can have my hair done. Because we don't always go okay. to the hairdresser to have our hair cut. We might go just to have a wash and blow dry because we're going out that night. Uh, okay. That kind of thing. That's having your hair done, which can include cutting. Uh, but if you have your hair cut, yes. I, mean, I don't think we're as sensitive about these things as men sometimes are. Uh, we'll have to... Rima, do you have your hair done or do you have it cut? Or do you cut it yourself? Uh, I missed uh, 